Hey party people, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and you'll never guess where I'm at. The Lego store, woo! It is once again release day and I feel like there's actually been like 12 release days so far in April. It's been pretty crazy. But anyways, I am here today for the Thor Love and Thunder goat boat. I just think it's fantastic. The minifigures are so good. Something a little weird though that I've struggled with for a while is buying the Lego sets for movies that aren't yet out. Like usually I don't really care for the sets if I haven't seen the movie. And then you know like what if once I watch the movie, I don't like the movie. Then I have this Lego set that I don't really care about. About. And this has happened for a few sets now. There was Raya, Shang-Chi, I guess the goat boat, others. Oh, and then Batman, that was one. So it's kind of a constant struggle for me whenever this happens, but I am kind of curious. Let me know in the comments below, has this ever been an issue for you? Do you buy the Lego sets when they come out? Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Anyways, it's about 1046. The Lego store opens in 15 minutes, actually 14 minutes, math. So let's head inside. I see a bunch of cars here and I want to make sure I get myself a goat boat. But real quick, y'all, if you enjoy vlogs, live streams, Lego city updates, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Below. Thank you. There we go. But it's felt really crazy with all these releases this month. Like April 1st, there was a release day. I think that was a DeLorean. April 17th, I believe, was Jurassic World and Jurassic Park set. April 24th was the Lightyear stuff. The 26th, aka today, is the Thor Love and Thunder stuff. And then May 1st is coming. And there's so many sets coming out then. May 4th, there's more sets coming. I'm overwhelmed by all of it. Isn't it kind of crazy? All right, so about 15 minutes till the mall opens. There's like two people in line over there. I think we're good. And I also didn't realize the three different Star Wars dioramas are coming out today, along with the fighter tank. The trash compactor, I still can't believe I thought it was a joke at first. I mean, it's like a trash compactor. I didn't think it would be real, but I'm definitely gonna be getting the Republic fighter tank today. I need that set. It looks so good. I cannot wait. So like, this is what I was talking about with all these different release days. It's so hard to keep up with what's coming out and when, but from what I see inside the Lego store, it does look fully stocked. They have all the new stuff, so. Wish me luck. Alrighty, so they just turned on the lights and it's time to head inside. Okay, so I just got into Lego store and I'm just gonna get the few sets that I came here for first. And then I'm gonna look around because there's only like eight of the Republic fighter tank, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so I actually already checked out because they only had limited supply and I just wanted to make sure that I got what I came here for. But now let's take a look around. I heard that there was some new pick-a-brick pieces, so I'm excited. So looking at the back wall for Star Wars, they have the Falcon in stock. That's crazy. Actually, it's, okay, yeah, this box is definitely empty. It's just like for display to show what they have in stock, but still really cool to see at least one Falcon. They have tons of the Dark Trooper battle packs. I believe this is all of the helmets, maybe except for Boba Fett. I don't see his helmet anywhere. And then Boba Fett's throne room, actually, y'all, recently at Costco, I found these for $60. They're $100 here. So just throwing that out there, check your local Costco. They have some crazy deals. Most Icely, I actually bought this last May 4th. I still haven't built it. Let me know if you wanna see that in the build stream soon. This one I also bought last May 4th. May 4th is coming up quick. I'm really excited for it. ATAT -AT as well, awesome to see that. All right, so now let's check out the pick a brick wall. These look the same as before, just some of those one by two rounded plate thingies. That red is really nice. I bought some of these last time. These one by 10 plates, I got some of those last time. And then down here as well, I got some of these highlighter yellow ones. Those are pretty cool. But something new that they just got, check these out. Aren't these incredible? These are like the Mario clouds. I'm definitely gonna be getting like, half a cup full of those. Those are so cool. I'm really excited to see those. And then these as well. These are awesome pieces. These like curved, I don't even know what to call them. It's like an L-U plate thingy. That's the official name. What else? What are these? I don't even know what I would do with this. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas, but they have a bunch in stock. Some of these calculator pieces, I don't really need that, but it's cool to see like printed pieces on the wall here. These are cool. I think these are new as well. They do have a bunch of new pieces. Ooh, and then these. That's pretty cool. Man, yeah, they definitely mixed things up since the last time I was here. This as well, this is new. What is this? Ooh, look at these slopes. I don't know what to do with that, but like for Mario World maybe with like lava. Some yellow slopes here, some green bricks. Ooh, and then the spider webs here. So there's not like a ton that I need, but there's definitely enough here to fill up a cup. Looking at these and these especially. I'm gonna grab a cup. I always forget these. I have like 20 in the car. I was hoping they would have some two by two bricks for the mill system, but all I see are one by two, one by like 500 down there, and then one by four. So none of these will be great. I could get some one by twos and just like put them together to build my own two by two, but I think I'll just hold off till I find actual two by twos on a pad wall somewhere. But here's what I've gotten to so far. I filled up just a little bit on the top with those more nougaty colored ones. Then the clouds all throughout the bottom. I just really like the clouds. 
But then I was thinking these pieces here, you can actually put those curved ones on top of the white window-ish piece. So I think I'm gonna get some of these as well and just try to build a mock out of that. We'll see how it goes. All right, so here is my pick a brick cup, clouds, nougat, windowy pieces, the speed champions. I am really looking forward to finally building some of these. I believe I got this one here. This one, maybe that one, I don't really remember. And then yellow. And then the mech up here. This is definitely something I want to pick up at some point. They have it on display in here and it just looks so cool. Like all the details, all the different parts, the gold accents, it's really impressive. And here's some of the Minecraft stuff. Someone commented recently saying I don't show Minecraft enough. So here's the Minecraft. And then here's the Technic too scary. And then over here in Creator Expert World, we see the Mindstorms. These were actually just sent from Lynn as well, and I'm really excited to get started on that. So stay tuned for like a stream or a video about that very soon. Mickey and Minnie, some of the modulars, very cool. And then this art project set here, I'm actually really considering picking this up at some point. I just think they look really fun. It'd be something kind of interesting and different to do with Ross, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the art stuff in general, so I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Oh, wow. Okay, check this out. This is on display here. Look how cool this is, the T-Rex breakout. I just bought this. I still need to build it. Stay tuned for a live stream. Once again, I have so much to build now. Boy, do I hate being right all the time. I did not even notice that before, but I love it. Yeah. These Jurassic Park, I called them Jeeps last time. Everyone in the comments corrected me that they're Ford Explorers, so thank you for that. I appreciate y'all. But yeah, they're very fully stocked in them for the botanicals. The new ones come out May 1st. And I'm really looking forward to the orchid as well as the succulents. Like being in Texas, succulents are just everywhere. So it'd be really cool to have that on display. Oh, and they have this one in stock, the Ferris wheel. I love these kind of like more play scale amusement park rides. They're just really fun. Literally, it says fun right there. There's like a happy face. It's so cute. Gosh, wait, I haven't seen these yet. Look how good they are. I haven't seen them on the shelf before so this is the xl15 spaceship i built this on a stream recently it was so much fun i totally like messed up this part here for like 20 minutes straight i was trying to figure out what was wrong but i finally figured it out it looks great now we have this little four plus mech dude the cyclops guy and then zerg i love him so much this is so cool to have this there was a construct zerg way back like in 2010 and i never picked it up it's expensive now so it's really cool to get one for 30 bucks and then here they are again on display Here's something that I'm kind of confused about. So this dots like message board kind of thing, but with like, what, luggage tags? I'm just confused. Like, do you actually use these on your luggage? Is it more for like a cute little backpack for school? Like, I'm just kind of curious what people are doing with these. I want to incorporate them and like have it on my purse or luggage or something, but I just don't want it to get lost. And then looking at Friends, I realized recently there's a new set coming out. It's like a theater for Friends. And it'd be perfect for the new Muppet CMFs coming soon. Like if you bought two of them, you could make a really cool modular style thing. And especially like after getting this set here, I'm just so inspired to like play with my friend stuff a lot more modularized things, just make it more fitting for a Lego city. So I'm really looking forward to that theater coming soon. All right, and now here's something that I came for today, the goat boat. It is so cool looking. I love the front of it. Honestly, like it's just like a really fun looking build. It'll look perfect in the Lego city, in the ocean area that we have, or maybe even like flying. I don't know, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't really know exactly what this is gonna be. But there's goats in the front, and I think that's just really cool. Also, the minifigures in this are pretty neat. Some came out today as well, the attack on New Asgard. I just don't really care as much. It's kind of scary. I don't really know what I would do with this guy. Oh, man. And then the Creator 3-in-1 Castle. I have two of this set. I actually got it from Costco. They were like 80 each instead of 100. I still haven't done anything with it. I haven't built them. But here's what at least the front of the set looks like. There's got to be more to it, right? There's Yeah, there's more to the build than just this. Oh, I guess it's this part here. Never mind. I'm looking forward to building that and like hopefully doing like the Rapunzel's Tower type of thing, modifying this version of the build, make it maybe taller, more like princess esque. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then here's all the Harry Potter stuff. I am really looking forward to the summer wave of Harry Potter. The Ministry of Magic is kind of like a weird looking set, but I am into it, especially if you got like two or three of it. I think it would look really cool for a Lego city. Oh, and then here we have the new Star Wars dioramas going on here. These look really nice, especially Dagobah. Again, that's probably my favorite one, and they have it on this part here, just so it's easier for them to access during the day. Oh wait, and it looks like they just stocked them on the shelf here. Was this here earlier? But here we have the Dagobah Jedi training. That's our trash compactor. Again, I thought this was gonna be a joke. The first time I saw this on Instagram, I was like, there's no way this is real. It's a trash compactor. But you know, after looking at it more, it looks pretty decent. The minifigs are pretty good. You get four in here, which is really nice. And then like, just the whole diorama aspect. I do like it. And then the trench run on the end here, it's a really cool 
paddle scene. It looks a little hectic for me. Like it's very busy. I feel like the ship kind of blends in more than it should, but still a really cool build. Alrighty, I just checked out. I am so excited. Check this out. They redid the display in the front. Look at the gears. This is so cool. So Empower the Future. It looks like a coding robotics kind of thing. But yeah, all this space stuff is really cool. I love that like trans blue-ish color. That's really neat to see. And then over here we have some Minecraft. There's a bunny, very cute bunny. There's like a coding thing on it. Does anyone know if there's like some sort of coding attachment or activity you can do with these? I see the controller, so like I assume so, but maybe it's just because it's gaming. I don't know. And over here, once again, we see the Titanic. I don't know how much fun I would have building it. Really repetitive, it's huge, it's massive, super time consuming, but it's also like an experience, you know, it'd be worth it for the end product. And then of course we have the DeLorean over here. Very cool, I haven't finished building it yet, but I think I'm gonna do the second movie version of it, number two, we'll see. And then the globe, very cool. Oh man, like there's a free gift with purchase, get the Volvo wheel loader with Speed Champions purchases over $40. And then May the 4th is coming soon, May 1st through 4th, very exciting. All right, well this was very successful. I still can't believe I didn't know everything that was coming out today. Like that's kind of embarrassing. Lego is kind of my job, you know, I feel like I should know when sets are coming out and which sets are coming out when, all that kind of stuff. But at least I got my goodies today. The Republic fighter tank was definitely on the list. I didn't realize that was coming out today. I thought it was May 1st, like what? <laughs> And then the dioramas as well. But to be fair, I didn't plan on getting them. So like I wasn't staying up to date with like when they were coming out, what day or whatever. Really, I just came here for the goat boat today. So to get the Republic fighter tank as well was awesome. Plus some of those pick a brick pieces were incredible. Okay, let's do a car haul. Gotta make sure that this beauty over here is in shot. Good enough. All right, so first thing I got y'all is what I came for. Le goat boat, le, because it's so fancy. Not that fancy, I don't know why I did that. But yeah, so as soon as this was announced, like Ross was obsessed with it. I really like the minifigures and just like the whole build looks like a lot of fun. I used to not buy sets because of the build. Like that used to not even be something I considered, like how much fun I would have during the build. Really it was just for display. But this one looks like a lot of fun to build and it's totally different. There looks like some really cool techniques for the roof there that I would love to like experience. So I'm really excited that I got this one today. This is what I came here for. So like, obviously I got this. What's next? Ooh, pabbers. All right, so the second thing I got, I already showed y'all in store, but check out all those clouds aren't they cool also i misspoke when i was in the store i did not realize that the cloud pieces came out for the first time in the unikitty cmf series like do y'all remember that i got a few of them ross actually grabbed like five he like just grabbed a handful of them they were all the angry kitty i was so upset so i only have like a bunch of the angry kitty ones they're still really cute though so it's fine but yeah so the clouds did not originate in mario like i initially thought so i learned something today that was cool then we got some of these nougat two by whatever U L plates official name and then some of these window things that are curved i just think it's kind of cool to have like curved buildings and just like different shapes in the lego city and it's also just really fun to try different things so i'm looking forward to all of this this will be really fun the clouds especially like i want to have them on some clear pieces so you can see them above the buildings mostly in disney world i think so if you guys have any other ideas on what to do with the clouds let me know i would love your suggestions and then last but definitely not least is this Republic fighter tank? I thought it came out May 1st. I'm not gonna lie to y'all and be like, I knew this was gonna happen. No, I had no idea this was coming out today. Like, that's so embarrassing, but I'm really happy it is. Like, look how cool this looks. We get a bunch of these really cool clones, Mace Windu, some battle droids. Like, it looks really nice. Also, do y'all remember all the controversy around this set? Like, when it was revealed by Lego, everyone was hating on it. Like, oh, it's so ugly, it's terrible. But when you saw the actual box art, y'all changed your tune and said it looked good. Most of you, probably not all of you but most. <laughs> I think it looks really good. The box art definitely helps. The way that they revealed it, it's just like from the wrong angle, I think it just didn't look great. This looks good. I'm excited to build this. How many pieces? 262 pieces. So it'll only take me like four hours in a live stream. So stay tuned. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for coming Lego shopping with me. I really appreciate it. These vlogs are so much fun to make, so I'm really happy that y'all enjoy watching them too. That being said, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye!